Hello friends, in this video lecture, let's discuss some examples of stick diagram and how to draw a stick diagram and what are the steps involved while drawing the stick diagram. Okay, so, so in order to draw a stick diagram first, you need to follow some steps. So what are those steps? So the first one is, sorry, you need to have the equation in, in complemented form. So the first step, the first and foremost step is you need to have the equation in complemented form. Let us suppose the given equation like a plus b dot c, a or b dot c. But you cannot draw the stick diagram for this equation or for this expression because it is not in a complemented form. You, you need to draw, you, ne you need to have the equation in the complemented form. Then and only you can draw a stick diagram for that equation. And the second step is, um, yeah. You need to draw static CMOS circuit for, for the equation given. Static CMOS circuit. So what is this static CMOS circuit? You very well know it. It will have a PMOS network as pull up PMOS network in pull up network and it will have all the NMOS transistors in pull down network and these two are inputs and from here you take output. You very well know it. In pull up network you'll have all the PMOS transistors in the pull down network you'll have all the NMOS transistors so you need to draw a static CMOS circuit for the expression given okay after finishing all these two steps then you'll you will be allowed to draw the stick diagram stick diagram for what stick diagram for this static CMOS circuit so these are the three steps involved uh, in drawing the stick diagram so you please remember these three steps and <laughs> how you'll draw this static CMOS circuit so let us let us look at some examples on how to draw some stick diagrams okay so yeah let us take one example so first example is y is equals to a plus b complement so what is this a plus b is nothing but a or b right so a or b complement is or's complement is nothing but nor right so this is nor expression expression for nor so we'll, we, are, we are going to draw a stick diagram for NOR gate here, right? So, so what is the first step? Let us see what is the first condition. The expression should be in the form of complemented. The expression uh, should be complemented, right? So here the expression is already given with a complement. So first condition is satisfied. And for this, we need to draw static CMOS circuit. I hope you remember this. For NMOS, plus indicates parallel and dot indicates series dot is nothing but and in nmos in case of nmos uh, or means parallel and dot means series uh, whereas in case of pmos uh, it is vice versa of nmos right so plus means series <coughs> sorry and dot means parallel right so yeah now we need to draw static CMOS circuit based on these uh, assumptions or based on these points so you please remember these points because if you remember these two important points you, you can you can draw static CMOS circuit for any sort of expression okay so yeah let us draw so first uh, what pull up network consists of what PMOS right PMOS circuits here expression is A plus B so plus in PMOS is series so here a transistor and b transistor are gonna be in series got it this is a and this is b right and a pull down network will have all the nmos transistors right so nmos in nmos plus means parallel so in this parallel net so in pull down network the a transistor and b transistor so you'll have bubble here pmos will have bubble okay this is pmos transistor whereas this is nmos transistor okay so yeah uh, in in pull down network both a transistor and b transistor gonna be in parallel so because in for nmos plus plus means parallel so this is a and this is b this is gonna be your vdd and this is gonna be your ground so we are done with the second step static cmos static cmos circuit so now we are ready to draw the stick diagram so I've already discussed some rules of stick diagrams, rules involved in stick diagrams in the previous lecture. Uh, I hope you watched it. If not, please go to the playlist and let us draw stick diagrams. Okay. So 
what many of I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on stick diagrams. All of all of them used to uh, mark here source and drain, and then they they make use of source and drain in the stick diagrams, and then they connect connect source of one transistor to the drain of other transistor. But I think it is not a correct method. Okay, it, it is it it is acceptable, but uh, you cannot. It will be quite confusing for you if you adopt it for many number of if you adopt it when you have many number of transistors. So let me discuss some other approach. which will make your life comfortable so follow three steps just three steps that's it whenever you want to draw a stick diagram for any bigger circuit for any bigger expression just follow three steps what i'm saying that's it so i'll draw you the all the three steps so stick diagram right now so yeah this is step 1 please please listen carefully please watch carefully okay step 1 step 1 is to draw vdd line and ground line this is your vdd and this will be your ground and next and first step, first step is not finished yet so what do you have these are pmos transistors right see see the circuit diagram these are pmos transistors here pmos transistors are in series how many pmos transistors two pmos transistors are in series so when two pmos transistors are in series see this this represents a transistor this line is for a transistor and this line is for b transistor okay done uh, most of them used to join all these lines okay you can even join them no no matter and yeah and here both the nmos transistors are in parallel right when when two transistors are when two transistors are in series you can just place him place them side by side see here i place them side by side here see and here a and b are in parallel so beneath this exactly beneath this see this is a and as they are parallel so i am drawing it a little uh, uh, what see i'm drawing it little lower here i'm Uh, what indicating some distance between these two okay exactly beneath this you need to draw okay this is your you are done with your first step now okay so may, mark it as step 1 and again you you write here step 2 and same repeat the step 1 here and then i'm not writing it for you i'm not writing it for you this is your step 1 okay and you you again name it as name name as step 2 and you same redraw the circuit here you redraw the lines here and then what you need to do is see this represents your polysilicon this is your polysilicon that means this is pmos transistor this is another pmos transistor hello hello cross hello cross by red is nothing but a transistor right hello cross by red is nothing but your pmos transistor so this is your pmos transistor and this this is your another pmos transistor this is your nmos transistor this is your another nmos transistor okay so yeah see here um, i'm not marking any source and any drain here see one end of A is connected to other end of B. I am calling it as this is this is nothing but your A C. This is nothing but your A. I am taking external contact, so I need to mark it with black. This is this is my A. Done. And this is my B C. I am taking another external contact here. Contact here. So I am marking it with indicating the contact with black. This is my B. so what i'm saying is wait see here one end of a is connected to one end of b so this is one end of a this is one end of b i'm connecting both of them so external contact here so i'm make marking it with black done and one end of a is connected to vdd so blue color metal line and this is my vdd okay i need not to i need not to mark here black mark black dot here because these two are of same color hence there will be a metal contact i have already explained these rules in the last lecture so yeah and what this uh, other end of b is connected to output right this is my output so i'm simply dragging it to my output this is my output okay and see here one end of a and one end of b both are connected together and together and and that connection is connected to output so this is my one end of a and this is my one end of b both are connected together and that is given to my output done so again black here black here 
so and and what and here also a and b both are connected together and both are fed to ground c connected together and both are fed to ground so uh, marking with black indicating metal contact here and even indicating metal contact here so this is my stick diagram it looks some complex it looks it looks a bit complex so what do you do is you draw in stick you draw you draw this diagram in three steps okay so that it will uh, catch the eyes of ex examiner and he'll give you 10 out of 10 if you follow this step three steps step one step two and step three got it in the step one you need to draw only these vdd ground yellow lines and green line in step two you need to draw only red line in step three you need to indicate all the metal contacts that's it this is your stick diagram i hope you got this lecture and we'll discuss more and more stick diagram examples in the coming lectures thank you so much and do not hesitate to share the knowledge